next we will have Black Lives Matter of Greater NY. Good morning. Good morning. A lot of y'all don't know this about me, but I used to work for a prosecutor's office before I went to law school. And one of my supervisors told me, Hope, don't leave with your chin. I never listened to that supervisor. And I always leave with my chin. So I'm going to say this to you. For a mayor that won his election on the backs of the 10 poorest districts in this city, his budget is anti-poor people. His budget is anti-poverty. It is anti-education. It is anti-black. It is anti-brown. So how is it that you have black leadership for the first time in New York City and they come up with a Republican conservative budget. Come on. The math ain't mathing. Come on. It does not add up. You, you talk yeah. about crime and punishment. You talk about law and order. For months, they called us terrorists Come for on. presenting alternatives to policing. Y'all remember that? Yes. Y'all remember that? Yes. What do we say you need to decrease crime? You need education, yes. you need job opportunities. Yes. He has cut education and he is yes. not providing opportunities for our communities to work. Come on. It's a goddamn shame. Speak on. on it. We elect these people time and time again. Come on. No self-respecting black or brown person should stand next to this mayor on. on this budget. There are people in city council who marched with us. Speak on it. Who yeah. held their fist in the air Come and on. said black lives matter. Come on. Yes. Well, in regards to this budget, black lives do not Come matter on. in the city of New York. Come on. We must fight this budget with everything we have. Come on. We must call, we must harass, we must let these city council members know that it ain't safe to do wrong to the community. Right on. Come on. Come on. So let me get this right. They could take away your kids' schools. Come on. They could make take away services from homeless people. Come on. They could cut, they 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 could underfund NYSHA. Mm -hmm. And they could walk through our hoods like it ain't nothing. Come on. And they could take pictures with our community members like it's all right. Yeah. We need to revoke their hood pass. That's right. Come on. We need to revoke their hood pass Say that. because they are not members of our community. They are active participants in our oppression. Yeah. Write that down. They are active participants in our oppression. Yes, they, they had names for people like this back in the days on the plantation. Speak on it. They had names for the people who sit up in the big yeah. house and come out and tell all us little hard-working field Negroes that everything was all right. They called them Uncle Toms. Yes. They accused them of cooning for the white man. Yes. And this is exactly what we're seeing here. This budget is not pro-black. This budget is not pro-brown. Pro -brown. This budget is not pro-poverty. God damn it, Donald Trump could have wrote this budget. Yes. And the people of New York will sit back and allow that. Well, not me. Not I. I accuse them, the mayor. I accuse the mayor and the speaker of being anti-black. Speak on it. Yeah. My name is Shavana Newsom. I'm the co-founder of Black Lives Matter Greater New York. Let's go. Well, we have to. This is profits and popularity over people. Same. The problem with New York City government is they want to be celebrities. They want to party at 4040 in the Met Gala and spit in the face of the very people who got them elected. The Upper East Side did not get Eric Adams elected. The Upper East Side did not get Rita Joseph elected. It was actually Black Lives Caucus. The whole list of black representatives who said that they were for the people, who marched for the people, are selling you out for photo ops and pet projects. Come on. This budget speaks to what they truly want, and that is to retain power. 
power. The way that they are retaining power is by leaving us at the bottom. This is a well-oiled machine. They smile in your face, they give you toy drives, but they cut mental health. Come this on. bill is actually anti-gun reform because mental health leads to people shooting places. But Eric Adams and this council are allowing them to cut it from the budget. After COVID, they are cutting hospitals. They want us to die just like we died during COVID and we continue to elect them. The primaries are at the end of the month. The general election is in November. Get them the hell out of office or your children and your seniors will continue to suffer. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter.